Welcome to weekly vlog 20. For those of you who watched my last week's vlog, I am sick. sick. So Kylie came down to see me and we just went out and got... Yep, because she's sick. Why? Just because we were uh, see. Kylie, this is on public. In public? <laughs> it's on public. Mm -hmm. This video is on public. I got Biscoff. I also got a San Pellegrino. Kylie, you got a milkshake? What did you get in your milkshake? Nutella. Just Nutella? M Malteser and Kinder Bruno. And we're gonna eat it in the car. I also got a white chocolate blonde because I haven't eaten in eight or nine hours and I feel awful. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Um, It's like half past nine, maybe. I checked in very slightly, very briefly yesterday rather. I was not well at all, but I'm feeling a little bit better today. I'm definitely not 100%. My gum is still <laughs> very much infected. I still very much have a cold, but a lot better than I was yesterday. I just had like, honestly, well, I was gonna say I'm not one to be dramatic. I am a bit, but you know, like I'm not one to be like, Oh, I feel sick, I'm taking the whole day off work. But I had like a cacophony of things wrong with me yesterday. Before I went to the dentist, I took two Sudafed because I was obviously all bunged up. And literally, I mean, the minute that I took the Sudafed, my stomach started like cramping up so badly. So it, it was so cramped. And then like, I didn't have like a cold. And then yesterday I started getting like a runny nose, sneezing, like so bunged up. So then like yesterday evening, I had like all of the above. Like my gum was sore, my throat was sore. I was sneezing, I was coughing, I was running nose my stomach was sore like everything was wrong with me so i slept on the sofa for ages and then kyle came down we went out for ice cream and i hadn't eaten in like eight hours and i have to say the ice cream made me feel so much better i got a fizzy drink and ice cream well food first of all it was easy to eat i'm supposed to have a soft diet with my tooth like i felt so much better and i had a good night's sleep so i woke up this morning and washed my hair and put my fake tan on and um, i'm going camping this weekend so i know it's kind of stupid i know that some people would think it's stupid to put tan on i wear tan most weekends i just like how it makes me look i like how it makes me feel i especially like putting it on my face because it means I can like more or less not wear makeup and honestly it takes five or ten minutes to do it's not that high maintenance to me so I like doing it so I did that all this morning and um, we are leaving to go camping my family are actually leaving a little bit earlier than me which is a tad annoying because I'm working a half day and Kyle's working a half day so they always knew that we couldn't go as early as they are now going but like it's not that big a deal we've reserved pitches but I'm just gonna stay in my dressing gown until maybe 11 o'clock or so and then get dressed and just leave my tan on and wash it off at the campsite so I could end up being particularly dodgy um, and Kyle is also working and then he's driving to me and we haven't packed the car at all so I think that we will actually be later than the late that we think we're going. Like yesterday, Kyle was like, you're not going camping tomorrow. You're not well enough. You're not going camping tomorrow. And I was like, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And he was like, if you're not fine, like we'll go down on Saturday. We'll either stay over on Saturday or we'll drive down on Saturday and spend the whole day and then I'll drive home um, so that you're not sleeping in a tent. But like, I'll, I will be raging if I miss it. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> like get to 100% by the time that Kyle sees me so that he's not like worried that I'm gonna get sicker by staying in a tent. He's obviously being like considerate by being like don't go camping if you're sick but i'm like but i want to go camping so hopefully that will all work out <sighs> wow done <laughs> So it is Saturday morning. I'm actually recording this on my phone. My camera's in the car. I'm sitting in the tent. Um, I didn't really record anything at all yesterday. So I was working until half 12 and then packed up and left. Like Kyle was a wee bit later coming down because he also was working and he had to drive down to me. And we got here, got the tent set up, just hung about with my family. And then we went into Don Patrick to go to the shops and then hung about some more was pretty much the crack. So yeah, I don't really know what the plan is for today. It's like after 11, my parents are coming down. I haven't brushed my hair. My parents are coming down. It is actually really, really warm. So I think we are gonna go for a run and then I think we're gonna go into the sea or the lock rather. So we'll see how that goes. So this is Strangford Lock. We visited there on Saturday in Delamont Country Park. But unfortunately the water wasn't safe to swim in because of soft mud, which kind of scuppered our plans for the day and then we just spent the rest of the day at the campsite i brought my kindle and i got through a book and a half which was great and then the next day we went to this viking village and i got loads of videos there it was super cool and everybody was dressed up and explained all of the viking things and did reenactments and there was food and activities and it was really really worth a visit are you getting up on your throne Oh, 
Oh, wow. Do it for the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, Mom. See you later, folks. Go again. <laughs> Do one again. Ah! One minute until we jump the front. Seems risky. Oh, oh. He said it shouldn't fall on me. Megan, he said it shouldn't fall on me. Just got the target back, so I'm for the first time ever, and not a one person took a picture or a video of it. Is that right, Kyle? First, go target. Retro Viking Village. I'm subtly vlogging. So I thought that I would quickly film just a little check-in because I have to say I really um, didn't record a lot at all during the weekend. Basically I was just with my family obviously and I didn't really have my camera out too much because obviously like um, my nieces and stuff were there and my family who obviously might not want to be on camera as much and then there was obviously also lots of people and kids around. So I didn't want to have my camera out too much at the campsite just like just because and then we didn't really get up to too much like the whole point was that it was a family camping trip because my sister was home unfortunately my brother's home next week so the camping wouldn't have worked because this was the only full weekend that my sister's home so he might start the camping trip yeah we just like sat about the campsite a lot i went to a viking village yesterday and i did take quite a lot of videos there but the rest was just like sitting around the campsite going to like we were staying beside a country park so going into the park going for a walk chilling out making breakfast making lunch making dinner didn't like eat out or anything so like friday the whole day after camp so Saturday, what did we do Saturday? Oh yeah, Saturday the country park and my parents came down. Sunday the Viking village campsite. And then this morning we just packed up and went home. So Kyle is just away home. But yeah, now I'm home and I need to head out my room and unpack. My sister's here, obviously. Um, So I will, I think, just take my laptop downstairs and do a wee bit of editing, like with my headphones in, just so I can kind of be social. But I will need to take a half an hour, an hour and like tidy my room. I'm not going to take you through my hair routine today. This is what my hair looks like left like naturally dry. So I'm just going to do my normal routine, which if you watched my latest video was my Revlon. I'm going to do that and I'm going to use my blow dryer. I actually kind of have like a new desk. Like I got a chair. I mentioned it actually in last week's vlog and I never showed it. So I will show it today when I'm done. It's me too low to see my standing mirror and I only have a wee tiny mirror. So it's actually not that good for what I'm doing. But it also means I get to sit with a chair at my back. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'll show you when I'm done. So that is 
gets my hair done now. It still sits a little bit weird. It feels really good and like light. And yeah, it's dry, so that's something. So I'm just gonna go like chill out now. I have tan on my face, which is why I look kind of greasy. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. Me and my family are going on a day trip today up to the glens of Antrim. So I'm just really now, I've done my makeup quite like it, gone for very glowy skin. I'll show you my outfit. I've kind of gone summer vibes, it's quite warm. I am gonna throw a pair of jeans and trainers in with me and we're leaving, yeah, in about 45 minutes. And we'll be out all day. Unfortunately, actually most of the boys aren't coming because they are working. Doug is coming because he's over on holiday with us. Um, he's back to work tomorrow. Joyce has been able to work remotely, but Kyle is studying and my two brother-in-laws are working. So did I just say that? I did. Anyway, so I will show you my outfit. Really bad lighting, but these are the jeans that I put into shorts. Um, my shirt from H&M. And this is a new top. I actually bought some stuff last week. Some just summer tops. I haven't showed you them yet. I'm not going to do a separate video because it was too small. But I will show you what I got. I actually got this top in like four different colours. Um, mostly for like this for layering purposes. It is a very summery top. But it's super comfortable. And it's definitely something I'd wear about the house. And I also think under a sports bra I could work out in this. I'm just throwing this shirt on top. Because it's not like super super warm. I'd love to do like a bit more tying. But this shirt wrinkles easily. So I'm just going to leave it. So on our trip we visited the beach. It was actually really quite a nice day. Hiya Cora. What are you doing? What? And then I took this video just to laugh. My mum always brings a picnic blanket. And then this is just some more views of up around the north coast of Ireland. And um, this is around kind of Cushendon, Cushendall area. So the Galen Savantrum. This is the ruins of an old church that we always go up and visit. It's a lo lovely walk and on a good day you can see Scotland. And then just my dad showing me how you get a good picture. You have to dedicate yourself to the picture as you can see. And then we all just stopped in for a pint of Guinness. And then this was our last stop of the day, just as we finished eating our chippy. Home now, exhausted, going to bed. Hello and welcome to Wednesday. I wanted to do my first and last check-in of the day. I have been a rather poor vlogger this week, to be perfectly honest. Just as an FYI, I will probably be a poor vlogger next week as well, because I have my brother coming home from France, and this week I obviously had my sister home from Scotland. I'm really trying to not, like, have my phone out, camera out as much. I'm having quality time, and like I mentioned yesterday, like, I choose to do YouTube and put videos of myself on the internet, but not all my family and friends do. So when I'm spending time with them, I'm not gonna have my camera out as much. I will, of course, try and film what I can, but yeah, today I worked a half day. I have to say, I really, actually really enjoyed doing the half day. I felt like it was just the right mix. So originally I wasn't gonna be working at all today, but my brother is actually home on Friday afternoon. So instead I'm gonna take a half day on Friday and I worked a half day today. But it, like the weather is just so nice today and it, it let me, I recorded a video. I squared up my room every actual day this week. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure I have a clip in here that was supposed to be my room when it was messy so I could do a video when it was tidy, but I'm still tidying it. And um, but yeah, I recorded a video. I've sorted stuff out. I got up to see my sister. I saw my niece. I'm just gonna go back to my sister's because I have so I have some stuff to bring up to her house. I'm gonna go out for a walk. Like, it, well, it is obviously now half past five, so I will be finished work anyway. I feel like I've achieved so much of my day because I actually worked from 8.30 to 12. Um, and I think maybe other days I might try and do like 8 to 11.30 because I will be taking some time off next week as well. But originally I was gonna take full days off, but I know I don't know that I will because like, I'm sure there will be some days where we're not doing too much about the house and it might actually be more pleasant to work a half day and then be off from like 11.30 because I've started working like eight o'clock in the morning and be done at 11.30 rather than being off all day, but not really the day starting until 10 or 11 and I'm off work. And then the next day I have to be sitting in work from nine to five, like all day upstairs when people are about, whereas I could actually just me myself get up a wee bit earlier and work eight to 11.30, take the rest of the day off. And like, I would miss really very little then but I'm luckily my firm is very flexible so I'm able to kind of take whatever suits me I let my managers know that I would be off and I will probably try and keep the hours that I'm off the same but it doesn't necessarily have to be a half day or a full day sorry it doesn't have to be a full day it could be two half days I'm still taking a day's leave and because they themselves actually are off on leave because this is a popular holiday period in Northern Ireland because the 12th and 13th are bank holidays so then this fortnight people can take you know eight days off and they're off from a Friday to not the next Monday. 
<laughs> Friday, not the Monday just after, not the Monday just after, but the Monday after that for eight days leave, which anyone who works a corporate job like I do knows that like that's a pretty sweet deal. And obviously like family holidays and stuff. So that is what I think I'm going to do. Just play it flexible. And um, also, I mean, I think work is going to be quieter because people are off, but I do have my own stuff to do. But again, I think if I finish up around 12 o'clock, I will just take a half day and then just email to let people know that I've taken an extra half day um, and change my time sheets to reflect that. So I will hopefully be able to be pretty flexible over the next week and a half with my brother being home because like it's obviously pretty important to me to have time with him and my sister-in-law and my nephew and for the sake of a couple of hours and I was saying the other day to my mum you know I would rather be off doing nothing in July with my brother home than saving the days and then realising like in October, November, December I have leave to use and it being dark and wet and miserable outside and you're off work to do not too much so that is the crack. I'm going to finish heading up my room and that is the end of the vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.